It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Tuesday, October 20th, 2020. Number one, a Sunday ruling has stopped a Trump administration plan to cut food stamps for hundreds of thousands of Americans. Chief U.S. District Judge Beryl Howell struck down a plan that would have denied food stamps to almost 700,000 Americans. In her ruling, Judge Howell pointed out that in the midst of an ongoing pandemic that has killed over 220,000 Americans and stripped away jobs for millions, this is a primary reason for not stripping away food stamp benefits for so many. Number two, with the November 3rd election just two weeks away and Donald Trump's popularity waning in key states, several Republican leaders are privately voicing their concern over the president's off-the-rails rhetoric and in some instances publicly disassociating themselves from Donald Trump. He's not only losing the full support of GOP lawmakers, but those in the steel industry are also making their support known in a very public way. Over the weekend, the United Steelworkers Union displayed a Biden-Harris logo against the backdrop of a very special building in Chicago, Trump Tower. Number three, according to a new poll, 25% of U.S. workers have considered quitting their jobs over concerns of contracting coronavirus. 50% of the women polled say the pandemic is a major source of stress in their lives, compared to 36% of the men, while 62% of black workers agree. Number four, eligible voters nationwide are going to the polls in droves, choosing to cast their ballots in person due to concerns about mail-in ballots and the recent crisis at the U.S. Postal Service. As of October 17, more than 26 million citizens have voted, shattering records with sky-high voter turnout. The record-breaking number of people voting early and in person, even as the pandemic rages on, shows the importance of this election. So whatever way you choose to vote is up to you. Just be safe as you vote. Number five. Despite growing concerns over carcinogenic agents, Johnson & Johnson continued to market and sell its baby powder to black and Hispanic women. After facing almost 20,000 lawsuits by women who blamed the talcum powder for causing cancer, victims were finally awarded a $100 million settlement from the manufacturer. The company agreed to settle 1,000 of the cases in bulk. Please join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Sisters United for Reform leaders as we discuss police reform, combating systemic racism, and more. And that's what you need to know. For more information, please go to SybilWilkes.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.